Hi everybody and welcome back to Donny Boy 73 the small engine doctor. Today I'm going to show you how to speed up the RPMs on your lawnmower with the Briggs & Stratton engine. So the lawnmower engine we're dealing specifically today is the Quattro 4 horsepower engine from Briggs & Stratton. First of all you want to remove the air filter because that's where we're going to access the springs and the governor. So the problem with this mower is that the engine doesn't rev high enough because it's a bit old. Now what I'm going to do is start up the engine now to show you how high it revs and after the procedure is done, I'll restart it to show you how the RPMs are higher. Now this more doesn't rev high enough because I've tried it out. It's a bit sluggish sometimes and that could be because the spring here is a bit weak from aging over the years. Now you probably saw me moving this lever and what this is for is if the lever is back here, your engine's going to rev slower. If it's pulled all the way over here, the engine should rev higher. It does work right now, but when it's in the full position, the engine could rev a bit higher. So the way to repair that is to either replace the spring here or cut a piece out of it to make it a bit tighter. What I'm going to do today is just cut a little piece out of the spring, re-loop it and re-hook it over here and that should make it rev higher. So I'm going to disconnect the spring here. Just loop it around that hook here. Now I'm just going to snip it off here. Now you can see that the loop's gone. Now I'm going to grab it with some needle nose pliers and create another loop just like that. You want to make sure that the loop's big enough like that so when it's hooked back in it doesn't come out. And now I'm just simply going to re-hook it inside the groove here. Now what this has done is made the spring slightly tighter so we should be getting a bit more RPMs. You don't want to cut the spring too short because your mower is going to rev way too high and you're going to blow the connecting rod. Now I've got the spring reinstalled. I'm going to start up the lawnmower just to show you that it revs a little higher. Not too much though. And you can leave this lever here turned to where you're happy with the speed. I'm going to leave it like that. I bend this little tab just a bit so it doesn't go down too low. And now I'm just going to reinstall the air filter and the job is complete. So thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time.